67 Ash Farmer here giving you an update on my dump trailer. Um, before we get started, smash that like button uh, and subscribe to this channel and I'll keep bringing you great content like this. So dump trailer is com complete. Goes up, down, toe is pretty good. I pulled the axle out, put the spring seats in there. I got the toolbox wired up. I got the keys in the truck, I'll have to unlock that for you. But I got my safety chains on there. Well, do the safety chains, got it. Sorry about all the noise walking around in here. Got it wired up for a seven blade. I got a higher quality connector that has connections on both sides, not just one. We can see where it's a pinch type instead of just a slide. And then I got quarter inch chain, 3,400 pound capacity each. It's a high test grade 43. Same with the chain hooks. It was just an oiled chain. I welded the chain onto the frame of the dump trailer. So that's not going anywhere. Finally bolted the coupler on. I really like that coupler. You just drop it down, works real great. I uh, used four inch channel as my main frame for the trailer. And then I put the dump box on top of that and the dump box is giving it most of its strength. Uh, for the axle, I just used a 7,000 pound mobile home, front, mobile home axle and I shortened it down and uh, use the original springs and original tires. For a hydraulic pump, I use electric over hydraulic pump. I'll show you that in a minute. But now I'm getting ready to uh, register it. And I am in the state of New York. So it is a pain to register in the state of New York, a homemade trailer that's over a thousand pounds. I took this to a registered weight station, got it weighed, it weighs 1,940 pounds empty with the boards on it. Complete, basically what you see here. It's weight, it weighs 1,940 pounds. And that's with the fluid. So for a New York State to register a trailer, you need to uh, contact the DMV in Albany, the capital of New York State, and you need to go on to the DMV website, NewYorkStateDMV.gov, and you need to look up uh, section MV-272.1 you need to download that read that entirely that is the instructions on how to fill out MV-272 itself and on that sheet you fill that sheet out and if since this is over a thousand pounds empty I need a axle with brakes electric brakes and since it has electric brakes I also need uh, a copy of every receipt of all the materials I used on this thing on this trailer I need a copy of the weight slip from a certified weight station authenticated certified weight station and then I need four photos of the trailer I need a rear I need the both sides and I also need the front of the trailer I need to mail that to Albany along with a check to the commissioner of the DMV of $25 to Albany and then they mail me back a new sh new sheet I have to fill out and you have to get signed by the uh, DOT inspector non normal New York State inspection sticker that you get on your car or your trailer license plate This is an inspection where they go over everything nitpick with a fine-tooth comb go over everything They measure your lights make sure your lights are proper placement off the ground and make sure you have the right amount of lights and Then they make sure your axles proper size and your frames of proper size and that you use a proper coupler and all your welding techniques were proper and it's completely roadworthy and it is not um, stolen. Once you get that okayed by the New York State DOT uh, inspection, then you, they give you the fill out that form with you and sign it. And you take that to the DMV, your local DMV office. For me, it'd be Broome County. Um, you take that with your weight slip. Well, before we go any further than that, but to even get it to the DOT inspection place I cannot tow this behind my truck legally I have to have a tow truck company take it there for me or I have to put this on another trailer that's already registered in New York State that will pass inspection so once we get that all situated from the DMV the DOT 
we take this to the DMV, local DMV office. Not the trailer, but the paperwork they give us. So that we take the paperwork they give us, signed by the DOT, we take that to the DMV along with all your receipts of the materials used, add it up, and then you also you uh, take the four photos with you, and uh, of course you bring your pocketbook, and that's when they give you your VIN number, your license plate, and all that good jazz. So they're gonna tax you on all the materials you used, 8% sales tax in New York State for all the materials you use because that is the value of this trailer. And a lot of this stuff I already paid sales tax on in New York State. Uh, the lights, I paid sales tax on the lights of the hitch. I paid sales tax on the hitch. The safety chain, I paid sales tax on the safety chain. The safety chain alone was 40 bucks. So I'm going to have to pay another 8% on top of that again because that's considered part of the value of the trailer. So once I pay for that uh, sales tax on the value of the trailer, they gave me the plate for, for the trailer, and then they gave me a temporary tag I could, so I could take this to a New York State inspection place. So that would be just about any, other, any uh, automotive mechanic does a New York State inspection. All they do is check over your lights, which is kind of redundant because the DOT already did that to make sure it's roadworthy to even get the plate. Um, I'm kind of frustrated with New York State. I don't know exactly know what I'm going to do. Because this is going to be about a month process. Because I got to mail in that form to the DMV in Albany. Then I got to wait for them to mail it back. So it's probably going to take a week for it to get there. Probably going to be a week for them to screw around, read it, and figure out what I did. And then they're going to mail my copy back to I have to give to the DOT with a date that I go to the DMV and what DOT station I go to. And it's probably going to be another week. So there, we're already looking at three weeks. And then I have the time I had to take this to the D DOT office, DOT inspection place. And that's probably going to be a week later after I get that form. And meanwhile, I could lose this information through the mail. Or the DMV could lose this information on me and I might have to start all over again which is very common here in New York State. So, that's going to be a week or so, and then once I get that, it's probably going to be a week for me to even get down to the DMV because they're only open between like 9 in the morning and 4.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday, and I work every day. So, it's going to be a pain. And once I get that, I have 10 days to get it inspected, and then I can finally use it. Oh, what a pain. So altogether, I got about $900 into this thing. I looked it up for a brand new eight foot single axle dump trailer. It's about five grand, 4,800, five grand, somewhere around there. Um, that's not including wood sides or nothing like this has. I would have to add that onto there. That was only like another 50 bucks still. But it serves my purpose, holds a full cord of wood, loose, or stacked if I stack I don't have to fill it all the way um, but let me go get the keys for that toolbox and I'll show you the hydraulics in there I wish I bought the bigger toolbox at Harbor Freight I got the cheapest box at Harbor Freight because there's no latch this is the only latch it has and it's a key and I don't want to have to lock it every time I go down the road so I got a really big pickup truck battery in there uh, I forgot what the cranking ass was, but it's the biggest one I could find at the auto parts, like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, salvage yard had. It's $25 for the battery. Uh, this hydraulic hose I had specifically made. Go to JIC female on one end with a nut, and then a pipe thread on the other. And that goes directly to the cylinder. That's my pressure and a return. And when I press the down button on here, it's a gravity down. So the hydro fluid flows this way, goes through the pump, and comes out this hose here. And I, uh, the ground is just grounded right to the trailer frame itself. I don't know if you can see that there, but I directly bolted this here. I have a special drill bit, that uh, tap drill bit. You just drill and then it taps. So I just screwed bolts into it. There's no nuts on the bottom. It makes it really easy. 
And then the positive goes on the solenoid here on the bottom. And that goes to the positive there. And this positive cable here is to my uh, plug. So then this solenoid here, it's a little electric actuator. That just opens up the valve. Right now it's already open. That opens the valve for it to go down. So every time I want to drop the dump trailer, I'll raise it up. I have to push this in. Turn that. It takes a long, long time for it to go back up. But it is really easy to go back up. That is fast in my mind. And then it goes back down. It goes down a lot slower than that when it's empty, that's for sure. But it'll work for what I need. It's definitely a lot quicker than hand unloading. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. I should be getting into my next trailer project here pretty soon where I have that 25 foot flatbed tandem axle trailer. And I, that'll definitely be quite interesting for you guys. Thanks for watching.